starting to see these videos as an spiritual practice. These videos are helping me find my ground and really feel connected to myself and to my imagined audience. The amazing thing about Flory is that Flory is able to, you know, act like a vacuum cleaner and, you know, really clear any psychic debris, any psychic energy that could be kind of laying over. So it's good sometimes to connect with Flory in the mornings to start your day. It's like a nice cup of coffee or a nice tea. So we should have like a tarot reading today again. Um. The important thing to do for your tarot deck is to cleanse it with some sage. Um, sage is really helpful when it comes to working with these kinds of things. Wafting, wafting over. It all works. Any form of divination works. All of it. It all works. Any form of divination works. <laughs> So I get a lot of people who ask me, Edgar, you know, what is a holographic universe? Or how are integrative theories applicable to contemporary praxis? Do you know, I feel like we always need to take a step back and really look at where these concepts and theories emerged from. The Four of Keys. I really want to learn how to do tarot, and I really feel as if making these videos is helping me do more tarot readings for myself and learn the tarot deck better, because I, you know, have received so much guidance from the tarot deck, and I would love to share this guidance with others in a way that doesn't, you know, that feels organic and quick. <sighs> this card is about really looking back at where you've come from and how much you've done, like the projects you've worked on, the successes you've had, the friends you've made, the connections you've had, the family, the lovers, the enemies, everything. Just take a moment to look back at it. And you know, as I think about my own life, wow. <laughs> yeah. And this card is inviting this type of retrospective look because it wants you to kind of enjoy it and just rest in it, bask in it. And you know, today I'm going to an exhibition that has a performance at the Angels Gate Cultural Center in San Pedro. And it's exciting knowing that I'm going to go enjoy myself because I do find a lot of pleasure in connecting with creative projects and creative people. And so that is how I enjoy myself. And you know, when we talk about a holographic universe, you know, this idea of holism or an interconnectedness, it really emerges from multiple systems of thoughts. You know, we have these groups, our past like wisdom traditions that belong to these indigenous groups that have had these ways of thinking about the universe. Um, and of course, contemporary scientists today are starting to discover these things as well. And so, you know, when we really talk about holism, we're talking about systems of interconnectedness. And these systems can appear in multiple levels or multiple layers, let's say. And these systems are really affecting one another all the time. Infinite paths towards an interconnectedness that is beyond time and space that can connect us to anything, anything we want in this universe. Because one of the layers is time. And we as conscious beings can only experience time in the present moment, but within this fast, I think the most important part of the practice is awareness of the self, awareness of the interconnectedness, of the exchanges, what is our impact on others like, how are they impacting us, and how is our work impacting the world around us as well. And think that even within ourselves, there are also an infinite layer, an infinite amount of relationships within our own consciousness. We are not one voice, we are an infinite amount of voices, each with its own relationships to other parts. And so, these parts of ourselves within are also reflected without. And as any interconnected process would If my ancestors have been pushing me, guiding gently and sometimes violently towards a certain pathway. I honor you, ancestors. I thank you for your guidance, for your wisdom, your knowledge. Connection with them. We need to really hear them, be with them, listen to them, because, because just as they are our past, they are also our future. When these systems collapse around us, they will be our future. They will be there to guide us, to tell us what to do, and all they ask is for us to listen. So I'm gonna take this advice today and really just allow myself to enjoy. Um, so I'm gonna cut this video short, and I wanna thank everyone for watching.
And just remember, it is Saturday, whether you're at work, whether you are at home by yourself, or if you're at the beach, just remember to take moments to really allow yourself to be present and relax in the beautiful space that surrounds you, knowing that you've done a lot of work and it's good to bask in your glory sometimes. Thank you. You'll get irritated and you'll feel this too.